Dirty Randy's got some bail upgrades and it's time to use him, all right? He's gonna be stacking them up four high, five high. It's gonna be a good time. We'll see how high he can go. He's gonna make some money back. It should be a good time. We're starting to streamline the process here. We're starting to feel like a farmer. This is episode 17 of Survival South America. Number one, Dirty Randy here. Hopping on the John Deere right away. Cause, uh, well, we got some rowing to finish up. We got lots of soybeans in action there too. And a new bale trailer that I'm, oh my gosh, excited to use. That's why we don't park behind the bushes, because you just run into your other trap. I nearly put the forks through the front of that. Oh my gosh. That is uh, not good tractor manship. It's not a word, I don't think. We're making it one. Just assessing what we did yesterday, you know, and you can tell where we've uh, been over with the rower. So that's nice. Um... You know, it, like I said, hopefully yesterday, or, uh, oh gosh, the dust is back because it's not raining. Oh my gosh, we're going to be covered later, but that's all right. We're going to do our best to get this done, and uh, it should be a good time. Let's just go like that, turn around, and go the other direction. Make some nice rows up in here, and yeah, hopefully this baler is able to uh, handle a little bit bigger of a swath here because we're going to be pumping out bales, but uh, with less rows to go down, that means less area where the bales are going to be on the field if they're not getting uh, picked up nicely. So, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. We're leaving a dusty trail behind us, but uh, hey, way she goes. You know, it was nice to have the rain a little bit yesterday. Get some, uh, get some water on everything and uh, get it all nice saturated ground again so that's good um hopefully it doesn't freeze over in the winter here but as far as i could tell it's supposed to be just a uh cold but dry day today so uh you know great for getting some stuff done the ground is not frozen and uh we got all the grass cut yesterday which is lovely you can see it's not quite as luscious um as it was last month anymore so i'm glad we got a cut there when we did and, uh, you know, making making use of our windrower, I'd say it's actually been pretty beneficial, you know. Like I said, the real test will come when we actually go to bale everything. But for now, hey, um, you know, besides a little bit of a panic attack that it wasn't actually working with our tractor, but it seems like that was just tractor-specific with uh, our international there, um, the John Deere, making good work of this guy. A little bit tough to see, but we're getting her done, all right? Oh, I think that's pretty good. Um, it looks good, at least. Um, yeah, I guess now the moment of truth with the baler comes in. But at the very least, I, I, I don't see why it's not going to work. It's just it might be leaving some extra strips along the side, which um, will be annoying. But at the very least, you know what? I think we're uh, we're in a pretty good spot now. Um, and gosh, we got so much crap laying around um, with all the bushes and stuff. It's tough to see. It's like little little bombs everywhere that I'm like, I don't, am I going to run into something? I don't know. Uh, so, ah, gosh, we'll have to look into getting a shed at some point. I don't know. Maybe just even, uh, spreading some more dirt around and, uh, just making the yard a little bit, a little bit more clean. Um, with some spots to put stuff maybe. Okay. All right. That did its thing. Uh, let's move this truck out of here as well. Oh Yeah try not to run into the tractor again this can just go right here for now hello tree just gotta back this guy up we can do it we can do it look at it. i think that's pretty good pretty good Pre pretty decent hopefully yeah bud all right mm. are there hoses 
I know there's hoses when it hooked up to the truck. Hey, there's a bale in there. Oh my gosh, are we stuck? Nope. Right, well, as you can see, this guy, perfect height to just drop right over there. Um, so we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I know this was, uh, they were made in combination together. So hopefully they want to behave as such. And uh, we're turned on. The baler, that is. We're lowered. And we're going. Okay. Um, hopefully we're not leaving too much behind. If we're leaving little bits, that's, that's not the end of the world. But hey, look at that. I think, yeah, if we line up our wheels just just a slight bit off centered I think I think we'll be laughing you know and look at those bales wonderfully loading on there for us amazing all right well it I mean it's not a quick job but it's a job we're doing nonetheless look at that scooping up all that grass I think if it was any wider we would not be able to do it and, you know, once this guy gets full, hook up to the truck and uh, go send him off for sale. Um, you know, I think that might be the way to go. I don't know how many s layers uh, it stacks up. Three would be my estimate, my guess. Uh, you know, it looks like it definitely fit another, definitely another layer on there um, up until the guardrail there. And then you'd think, you know, yeah, there's a little bit of a lip. You could fit a, uh, a third on there. I don't know that's my presumption and uh, we'll find out you know but either way should be good this is uh, making all this work that much I don't know feels like it just it's gonna pay off that much more you know um, before it was just really scuffing everything together you know we had the baler and a trailer that kind of worked I don't even think we used the trailer the first time and then we did and it was okay uh but still uh you know having this guy is awesome it's an investment for sure i don't think we're even going to make our money back off of this field but over time for sure um you know hopefully by the time we can afford something else in terms of bailing but still uh you know i don't think we would need to hey there's a third layer stacking and we're coming up on our first full headland circle more or less um, so that's pretty cool. There's definitely a lot of bales getting pumped out here. And, uh, you know, thinking about it, that's is saving a lot of passes going over with, uh, with this guy hooked up. Because it's not quick by any means. And it's, uh, it's fairly heavy, uh, to be honest with you. Especially as you add more bales on there. So, once this guy's full, we'll hook up to the truck. And, um, yeah, get that brought over here. And then we can keep going. See how much money we make for a full trailer of our uh, grass bales here. I can't imagine it's going to be that much. But, hey, even if we can pay off the wind rower, you know, from all these bales, 1800 bucks roughly, I would count that as a win. Uh, especially, you know, for our first time out with this new setup. So, one more bale, I think, is going to be... It, oh my gosh it's still going okay four four stacks all right that means we can keep plugging away um i can't imagine it's gonna go for a fifth one right that's insane um or is it i don't know we'll find out We don't want to see if it can take anymore so we're gonna leave it at that um, you know what we might have to pull up the tractor just just a touch oh my gosh is it slowly sliding away we can always back up after we're not even grabbing the grass so that's good um, yeah let's go grab that truck just popping through here there's the hitch, and we're good. Uh, boom. Yeah, see? Let's see. We can connect a hose from right there. So, wonderful. That might be the key to getting these guys unloaded. 
Um, of course, we got tons of weeds in our other field over there, but I don't really think there's anything we can do about it. Um, you know, we, we can't really afford anything uh, to get rid of the weeds right now. You know, it's going to be the cost of a sprayer, which we don't have, and uh, herbicide, which we also don't have, and we don't have an implement. Um, can't afford anything to get them out in the earlier stages of growth either so we're kind of just stuck with uh, letting the weeds grow at this point when we first plow our field not an issue it's nice fresh soil but of course on the second plant that's the way she goes so um you know oh my gosh maximizing it sorry i'm throwing on the brakes and it was not slowing down at all so i was just going straight into the forest um we got some weight on here for sure so um you know but it's looking good um looking at the stats on the trailer we have 84 bales on here but it's showing is it only 80 percent um you know i would so that that makes me think we can put a fifth row on here but that's genuinely concerning like look the company are on here but i mean i guess they're stacked up neatly um you know and they're not the biggest or heaviest and it is kind of deceptive like you know the trailer itself it's got some pretty big wheels on there it could handle some weight um so good to know for next time we can keep rolling past this fourth stack and uh keep getting it done i imagine we're gonna have another full trailer to bring back over here so whatever we get for this sale probably can double that um you know but of course we'll we'll find out when we make that next sale uh, even this first one right here this is should be good there they go look at that whoa now fourteen hundred and sixteen dollars that's pretty awesome. 11.30 right now. Um, so we're, I'd say we're making pretty good time. If we didn't have the rower, we'd be taking absolutely forever. Like forever to get this stuff done um, because we'd be having to make every single pass that we did with the mower again with, uh, with our baler. Um, and that's no fun. That's a lot of diesel to go through, especially when you're not driving too fast and it's, uh, it's pretty heavy. So, um, you know, not the way to go with that but i think that wind rower that saved us a bunch of time as well as this trailer um uh, and at 1400 bucks per load you know uh, well actually it should be even more because we weren't at 100 percent capacity there so we potentially could get upwards of like 15 1600 maybe even 1700 dollars uh a trailer here which you know i think that means the wind rower is uh paying for itself today for sure and uh definitely this uh bale setup with this new trailer is uh well it's definitely been super helpful there's our tractor over there we'll get our hook back up and uh well you know the game plan we'll keep going with it we know we can uh get more on here than we previously had so we're gonna keep keep plugging away and we should be done this job honestly like you know maybe even starting to plow sometime later today who knows you know I think we've gotten to the point where this trailer is way too heavy that's kind of why I didn't want to do the fifth one on there I was just like this is getting pretty monstrous um, and you could see it pushing us around um, a fair bit to be honest with you uh, you know when we were doing stuff there so can we shoot those out I'd have to throw one of those couple loose ones on the back of the truck or something but not the end of the world there's still some loose bits. I'm not sure if it's worth picking them up.
the amount we would have to go over them um, and just go grab all the scraps and stuff like it might be worth it but um, I don't know I, I think we got more than we were expecting out of there um, so you know wherever's good for this guy let's just take that off and do that um, you know and if we're going that way gosh we got three of these pallets hey um, might be worth throwing them onto the truck as well that way we're just maximizing our day going out there you know um, part of me wants to stack these up but part of me tells me that's not gonna work they're gonna uh, get sent into the abyss again but I'm still gonna try all right if we can do two that would be pretty amazing but uh, let's just leave her there for right now we'll probably come grab those first honestly because I don't know if we're gonna be able to make it up this hill um, and it's gonna be slow and steady over to the cell point All right, we are, we are here. Um, gosh, what's the best way to even go about this? Maybe something like, geez, you know, I'm, I'm gonna give ourselves even a little bit more space. I don't know. I'm probably being real nitpicky with it, but it is what it is, that, that'll do. Oh. We just gotta get them up there. Oh yeah, uh, they just need to stay. Oh come on, there we go, wonderful. Got the tip out of there, and we can grab this last one. And um, I'm pretty sure these are, you know, eh, not not a ton, but they're a good amount of money. Um, soybeans, you know, um, that's what I'm hoping to plant in our new field when uh, we get to that point. Oh, I think I might have to just. Get them on the end of the forks a little bit better. Oh, just that way we're not hitting our other ones. And knocking them off. All right, now you can come off. That would be great, thank you. Look at that, hey, that's not too bad. Let's just put this guy back in here. He can blend in with the bush and there's a good chance we're gonna run into him later too. Soybeans strapped. And uh, we're moving on over to our little bale pile. We'll throw those on, what, a handful of them. And then we can hook up to our big trailer here, that big hefty beast. One. Two. Three. I think there's another up here that's kind of loose as well. Ugh. Yeah, there we go. Let me grab you as well, right? And there. Boom. Strapped. Oh gosh. And this will be an interesting drive. We got a bumpy road. You can see our uh, suspension is already having a little bit of a time. And uh, this trailer is, well, a heavy one. So let's try our best. You know, it's going to be interesting when we go to break. And it seems like, you know, when we were going down the hill, the extra weight of this uh, big trailer was just pushing the baler down and uh, we couldn't get going fast enough to kind of keep up with it but that being said we know we had issues even just breaking with this guy last time and we got a few more bales on here now than we did before so where is our outlet there it is let's try and sneak through there and uh, we'll not absolutely speed through here it's gonna be a little bit crazy but if we just go something like this now we break, now we break, break, break. A little bit of turn, coast into it. There we go, wonderful. All the bales sold, that is wonderful. We made $1,700 roughly, so that is awesome. Um, you know, if we were gonna be doing more grass work this year, I would say it's definitely worth looking into um, Oh boy, <laughs> getting that uh, tether after all. But uh, I think that was the last cut of the season until springtime. So that's uh, it's not a worry, you know, but I think it'll be worth it to get it next season. Sell all of our soybeans here.
hundred dollars on the soybean sale what do you know um, I guess it doesn't hurt while we're here let's just check and see what's on sale today Wow um, two things I actually would like eventually in the future who knows um, I mean if this this is still 40% off but uh, this would be a beast of a tractor to get um, one day perhaps uh, but uh, as well as this I mean this is just the dumper portion still need the whole the whole truck but that's all right uh, we're looking pretty good as you can see we had like what sixty two hundred dollars something like that in our bank account now so uh, that is awesome that's more than we had before we started all that grass work and um, you know it feels like that's actually viable now when we first started off we you know I, I think we just didn't really get that much done but it was tough when uh, we didn't even have like uh, well, I mean, I think we got a baler for the start of it, but it was tough. It was just a baler and the mower, and, um, you know, it seemed like it was a lot more work than it was worth when we were getting back from it, but if we're making a new field that's got grass on top, I feel like we should just cut it and try and make some money from it. That's what we did this time, and, uh, you know, we were able to do a little bit larger scale, and I think it paid off, you know. Um, took about two months there, though, you know, cutting uh, all the grass, and then of course rowing it up and uh, collecting all of it but I think we got all the kinks worked out for next time uh, especially even if we add on a tether to make some hay we made it back um, geez where do we pull up with this trailer now you know I guess it could just hang out here that's not the end of the world um, let's try and get that unhooked and we're good um, what is even next on the agenda you know like there's so many obstacles to be avoiding on the uh, on the farmyard now definitely need to expand that when we can and you know we're not gonna get too much done as far as plowing today so I think why not top up the greenhouse uh, with some water make sure that's still still going that way uh, we can kind of keep oh, a little too far we can keep going in the winter months here and not worry about it too much Wonderful. Refill, bud. Go dropping off 3,000 liters of water, and I think doesn't hurt to go get a second load and drop that off as well. Nice and easy, um, and just, well, that just keeps us going. Um, so that's awesome. We'll let the rest of this unload uh, I suppose we could fill it up again but it's just it's such a quick job it's not the end of the world uh, unhook that and that wonderful can probably just back the truck up what is going on there are you okay mr. water tanker I'm trying to bump it but why do I feel like this is not gonna be a good idea Oh my gosh. What happens if we hook it back up? I'm just curious now. Because it looks like part of it is stuck in the ground. Um, oh. Yeah, that doesn't seem good. Okay. Now part of us is stuck in the ground. What happens if I get out kick it yeah 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 I don't know let's just unhook let's get our truck out of here we don't want to lose that guy okay and let's just you can stay there okay we're gonna try and figure this out whoa it's calmed down with the bouncing but it still looks to be stuck look at that all right wonderful you know what hey things are looking green um, besides these weeds I'd say we're doing pretty fantastic, you know. Um, we've made good use of the day, and tomorrow we can uh, we can drop plow, and uh, should be a good time. You know, we got that whole field carved out. I mean, it's going to be a big job, but that's what the winter's for, and it's going to be a new year. So there you go. Um, hey, look at that! Our door is working once again. Feels good. All right, we're going to make ourselves some dinner. You stay warm, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. All right, I'm Dirty Randy. You stay dirty.